2025 is right around the corner 2024 is about to end and i really wanted to just kind of go in with a good plan this year okay if you're like me and you're unemployed and you're trying to get your shit together right like this is how i'm approaching 2025 like i'm gonna just keep it real i'm not gonna get discouraged i know life is already hard as it is and you know with like ah, man working crappy dead-end jobs isn't the goal okay we want to kind of thrive we want to succeed right if you're in this industry you know what it takes to fucking make it here it's hard right you gotta show up every day the code you write sucks you're not getting appreciated right <laughs> man there's people in this industry who make you feel less than not in the like man but man you just be like damn bro this guy's so smart and that's kind of why i like software engineering in a weird way is because it's like people work really hard to like be great engineers and like damn they, they're see they're leveling up man sometimes i'm seeing some of these guys like linkedin's and i'm like damn this guy went to stanford got the fucking went to fucking harvard and mit and i'm like damn and then they're over here working for google and like and worked at facebook before that and i'm like god damn man these people got me motivated right like i'm like damn i gotta be like that like, how do i get like that man so I'm trying to get y'all there, man. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get there, right? So we gonna get there, man. I know we are. Like it's this is our year. You know, we just got out of the toughest, the toughest time in the job market. 2024 was 2024, 2023 was a total shit show. It was a total shit show. There was no jobs, and if there was, they, they weren't looking for you. They were looking for some senior developer. Bro, it was rough. It was rough for us uh, entry mid-level developers, okay? I don't even really want to call myself a senior. I don't, I don't want to go ahead and take that title unless someone grants it to me. It was rough. It was rough. And, I, and I, 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 I didn't get discouraged, though. I kept to myself. I kept building. I used it as a great time to learn new things, things that I don't know or understand yet. That's what I was focusing on. I wasn't trying to hate on other success or, you know, other, sometimes you watch a YouTube video and like, you see this guy, how I became a software engineer in four months and be like, yo, that, that yo, a video, a video like that, bro, if you drop a video like that, you know that's going, yo, if you're anything like me, you know that video touches some pain points, bro. You know that video touches some pain points because you're like, yo, what the, f how is that even real? Who did, what? That don't make no sense. I've been out here grinding for years and this guy got in for four months. That's bullshit, bro. That's bullshit. But again, we don't try to get discouraged. We don't try to hate on each other, all right, guys? We're trying to motivate each other. We wanna be motivators because ultimately, when you can be proud of other people's success, then it, it's, it's, almost like a, it's almost like a mirror effect, right? You know, when you applaud others, eventually you start to get applauded back and it's sort of like that feeling that you want to kind of keep going all right you don't want to be hating on those guys but i'm just saying i know those videos out there and we see them and they can be kind of like un they're, they're a little unmotivating for me sometimes i'm like god damn what the hell did this guy do all right i try to get motivated by the people who i see who work really hard who have passed the trials of tribulation if you will you know what i'm saying they have worked at you know, reputable tech companies, right? That's really kind of what it takes to make it in this game. You know, when you put your resume in front of an employer, like the first thing they're thinking about is like, they're just taking a, a glance. Look, I saw a senior, you know, I saw a senior engineer's resume the other day. God damn, that guy was killer. I'm talking about, I looked at it. This guy had, he didn't even have his education. Actually he did, he had his education. He had his education from a pretty good school. I forgot what it was, but he had, he had a master's in computer science. Homeboy had, Yo, listen, homeboy had three reputable tech companies. I think one was DocuSign. Like, the other one was, like, like TikTok. And another one was, like, bro, like, this guy had a bomb-ass resume. I took one look at it, and I was like, damn. Like, who would not hire this guy? Like, it's ridiculous. So, like, that's the kind of... Mo like, when I saw that, I was like, I'm motivated. I'm motivated to try to get become a better developer. Like, I, I got to keep leveling up. And so that's part of the reason why I said, Henny, 
we gotta love our, 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 our college skills up, all right? Like, I, I didn't get the best education growing up. It wasn't available for me at the time, you know what I'm saying? And so now I'm doing something about it, right? It's never too late. You know how many coding boot camps and unit class I've done? And I still show up every day because it's never too late, right? It's only late when you quit. And so we're not gonna quit this year. We're not gonna let these, you know, three month software engineer videos discourage us. We're not gonna let those guys in those big tech rec come. No, we're gonna use all this as motivation. Every single bit of it is gonna be motivation for us. We're gonna create an actionable plan for ourselves, right? You need to do this, I've done this, and I'm gonna keep doing this because it's important. We need to lay out our goals, guys, right? We need to make our daily, our weekly, our monthly, our quarterly, our yearly plans, where we wanna be by the end of this year, right? I wanna be, I, I need to get hired by the end of this year because goddamn, if I don't get hired, bro, I'm probably gonna be living on these streets. <laughs> keep it real with you. But we need to get hired this year and we need to have like, like I said, daily actions that are kind of getting us to getting to that level, right? Like if my goal is to get a job by the end of this year, I need to take daily steps that are gonna get me to that job. That means do that leak code that you've been avoiding, right? We, we're not fans of it, but we gotta do it. We gotta play the game. That's just how it is now. They don't want you to have that 200, 300,000 salary. You need to take that to it. If, if you want the money, you'll do something about it, right? That's how I look at it. I ain't give this in a handout, you know what I'm saying? You either gonna work for it or you gonna let someone else take it. Cause they are, if I, if, if I just step out of line, man, there's thousands of people waiting to just take my spot. And you see what I'm saying? So that's just how this goes, guys. Play the game and get paid. So, or whether it's just simply build an app. That's like my next week's goal. My next week's goal is build an app. Next month, I'm taking a class and I'm getting that class done, which is one step closer to my four year plan, which is get that degree, right? Get that master's, baby. I'm getting that master's, baby. And so that's my plan. That's, a, that's part of the four year plan. I'm not gonna get to the four year goal if I don't start taking the, the monthly goal, right? You gotta, I gotta take the steps to get to that four year plan. So I want you guys to create a plan, your daily, your weekly, your yearly, map out your goals. It's easier to target your goals when you have them laid out in front of you and you have them mapped out. Like it's, I'm serious guys, this is real shit. Like, and next guys, I really want you guys to start taking care of yourselves, right? Like I think it's, it goes without saying like, there's a lot of ways that we could be like, just off, off the path, all right? It's, it's happened to me and I'm sure it's, it happens to all of us, all right? Like, this wasn't a straight path. I wasn't coding every single day, seven days a week, six for six years, all right? I've, I've had to work other jobs and I've had to do other things along the way. And you know, there was moments in time where I was probably partying a little bit too much, you know? And you know, that was just life, life getting to me, right? You know, my decisions adding up and you know, where I was and I thought that was what it was needed and you know. So like, I'm not perfect, right? And I don't expect any of you guys to be, right? But I want you guys to start, you know, just taking care of yourselves, right? This year, I made it my goal, actually, to stay sober. Um, I had a really life-changing experience at the beginning of the year, and it made me not want to waste my time getting high anymore, to be completely honest with you guys. I was a big pothead in my 20s. I was a big pothead, man. I loved weed, and I loved getting high. And, you know, like, I don't have anything against it in any way, shape, or form. I think it's still, like, uh, you know, it's a medicine, ultimately. But... You know, I, I personally decided to leave that because I felt like it had no, it was not, it didn't make sense in my life anymore, especially where I'm at today. You know what I'm saying? Um, also drinking, you know, like I, I would love to go out to drink. That was something, it wasn't like I was like a crazy drunk. I didn't have a drinking problem, but like I liked, you know, going out and, you know, meeting women and drinking. That was kind of something I like to do. Um, you know, and nowadays I really don't even want to do that. It's been almost this whole year I've stayed sober and it's been one of the best things I've done for myself because I have more clarity, you know? A lot of those habits I was doing, I've exchanged now into healthier habits. Like, you know, getting my rest. Bro, I'm telling you, man, those eight hours of sleep, game changing. 
they allow me to think clearer as a software developer, a software engineer. Man, like it allows me to think clearer about my problems. It allows me to just focus on the goal at hand, which is become a better software engineer so I can become paid, right? I'm trying to get paid and I'm not gonna get there if I'm getting high with you know my homeboys. Like that's just not gonna happen, right? And so I had to like, you know, refocus. Another thing I started doing that's ultimately changing my life, man, and I'm telling you guys, is eating healthy. Like, I know how hard is it, you know, getting those cravings and like, processed food is addicting, right? It has the sugars, it has the, you know, the, the like the, the, the stuff that, the MSG, the stuff that really kind of just tastes good. But man, you know what it's like to just eat an apple? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's the same, apple a day keeps a doctor away and that shit is real, man. Eating an apple, man, just something healthy like that. Like I, I go out to the kitchen, I grab a snack, I'll pour a glass of water, I have an apple, man. That shit tastes so good. Oh. So yeah, I'm recommending that you guys just try to like eat healthy, get your rest, you know, take care of yourselves, take care of your body, your body's your temple, you must protect this brain of yours you know this brain is what allows me to solve problems and get shit done as an engineer you know i need to put more respect on that title right you know ain't no body out here becoming a software engineer getting high and drunk all day right you know um so you have to protect your brain this is your money maker guys and so you need to take those actions to become better and so some of those start in the most simplest ways is just getting sleep eating healthier so you can think clearer so another thing i'm going to recommend for you guys is keep learn something right learn anything learn something new that can contribute to what you're already doing for me this year part of my actionable plans right is to go back to university why because i have an associate's degree and I feel like those skills no longer have that much weight in today's economy. I feel like I need to continuously level up. Man, some of the people I look up to, bro, when I be, when I be, chopping, when I be out here chopping it up and talking to people in the, in the software engineer game, straight up I see some of their LinkedIn's and you know, when you, when you go to networking events, it's common. We're gonna, hey, let me get your LinkedIn, right? Like, you know, let me see, let me see what you want, right? You know, without, you know, but bro, you be seeing some of these people, man, MIT, worked at Google. Facebook, damn, hey homeboy, really the truth. Like I'm trying to be like this guy. You know what I'm saying? Immediately you want to be buddy buddies with that dude. And so it's like, man, it just kind of goes without saying. It's like, yo, learn something new. Cause I guarantee you, man, if you're learning, you're earning, all right? Like don't let yourself get outdated, all right? Like I think that's extremely important today, you know, like especially with the economy the way it is, right? As software engineers, there's big, everybody's scaring us like, oh, AI is gonna take our job. No, nobody's gonna take our jobs. Ain't nobody, ain't, cause who's gonna write the AIs? Exactly, so nobody's taking our jobs, right? Our jobs are gonna change. There might be new jobs created, you know, that, that's something that could happen, right? New jobs are gonna be created. Maybe robots do come. And who's gonna program those robots, right? Like, we're gonna need humans doing other things. We don't need you, you know, bag doing cashier, right? That, that, might, that might be one of those jobs that do get outdated, right? But then what happens, what stops people from stealing? So we're still gonna need some kind of security because there's no perfect system. So ultimately jobs are just gonna change. And I think that's just kind of our nature. Our nature is to adapt with the times. And the only way we can adapt is by continuously learning. So you know, that's all I'm recommending for you guys. Don't do it, do it, I don't care, but I'm just giving y'all, you know, giving y'all what I'm doing, my plan. My plan, get a university degree, go get a master's, um, you know, majors undetermined, I'm leaning between two. I don't have to decide today, but I know if I don't major in one, I'm minoring in the other. And that's pretty much the way I'm going about it. All right. And honestly, this one, I really think it will be a game changer for you guys. I think you guys need to join some kind of a community, um, a club, a school club, uh, about the interest, right? Like if it's software engineering, like 
you know, there's our communities out here, right? Um, Meetup is a big app I used to use and I still kind of use it from time to time. And I go to networking events. I love going to networking events. You know, it's, I, I'm, I'm usually, I already know what coding is. I already know what it is. I do it all the time. I do it at my crib. And so I like to get out. I like to put a face to the name, right? I want to go to meet people and talk about, you know, tech. Just put more on a casual note, you know, like not, it doesn't have to be like, oh man, did you, did you get that error request from your code? And just, no, like, man, I'm just trying to have a conversation about the state of tech, man. Like that's it. I just want to chill, you know, and talk about some cool shit, right? Oh shit. I didn't know that. Right. Like just something cool. So I recommend you guys to try to find a community of people like-minded like you, right? You want to be a software engineer and you don't need to do this alone. Like I truly am like advising, you don't need to do this alone. You can join communities out there, especially today. I think it's very possible. There's a lot of stuff online. Um, if you guys don't have any access to any communities, hit me up. I'm happy to share some of the communities I'm a part of. And you know, like I said, I think it's great because there's also that accountability aspect. There's also that mentorship aspect aspect there's also that like you know you're not in this alone aspect because like face it guys you know coding can be kind of a lonely sport sometimes man and sometimes we struggling and sometimes we're not getting shit done and we don't want to be just always in that rough phase and take it from me because i was there i used to comp i used to struggle alone for like maybe the first year or two because i didn't feel competent enough all right, and I'm gonna keep it real with you. Like that imposter syndrome shit is real. Like you kind of never feel good enough. Like even after six years, I still see people out there just fucking, I'm like, God damn, these guys are amazing. And I'm just like, God, how do I get to their level? So you never really feel, you know, adequate, but you have to just humble yourself, all right, guys? Like. I think it's such a humbling experience when you get to work with people of seniority because there's so much that you can learn. Um, and, you know, if you're just a sponge, you can just, you can soak in so much and, you know, also just build great connections. And that's why I'm saying join a community, join a school club, you know, try to get out there and talk to other people about, you know, tech or software engineering and, you know, Try to keep keep an open mind about it, you know. Like, you know, nobody's really right. We're all just out here trying to figure it out. And what makes it much better is just collaborating and, and just you know trying to be better ourselves, better each other in the process, if you will. Um, and yeah, like I really think those are some of the best things that you guys should do because I think those are some of the things I'm gonna do moving into 2025. I think this 2024 was like a shit show. I think it was like. It's okay, I get it, you know, there was a job shortage issue. Like, you know, if you looked at the, there's a graph, maybe I, if I find it, I'll post it, but there's a graph that was like, you know, software engineer, how much jobs were out there for us was like 250,000. And then like by the end of this year, it was like 125, it was like half the rate. And so, you know, the demand went down, right? That's kind of like a real problem. Cause you know, like, man, they used to, used to be able to get interviews back in the day all the time. And I was kind of like, damn, bro, I ain't like that no more. So, but you know what this is also doing? This is also weeding out a lot of, you know, I guess kind of the fluff a little bit. And that's kind of like one way to look at it. It also like wants to make me become better because if that's what it takes, then guess what? I'm going to play the game, right? I'm not, I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let the, the out, the, the outside affect my decisions. You know what I'm saying? The time I've invested in this craft, I'm not going to let them ruin my life right like i get it you know you know like you might get discouraged from time to time and that's why i'm telling you guys to join some kind of a community find other software developers you know um, put yourself out there stop trying to do this alone you know you don't need to do that like i've done that and it's not fun i'll tell you that much you know so that's it guys i really just want to leave you guys with some tips i hope you guys really take action this year 2025 is going to be our year dog we're going to make it this year i'm telling you right now we're going to make it this year if you are here pat yourself on the back for being a fucking soldier and, and grinding out what could have been one of the hardest years for us but it's okay because we're coming back we're coming back bigger than ever better than ever if you got your goals put them down let's get them done this year let's start checking them off of the boxes let's start knocking down them doors i'm telling you man we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make it this year I'm t I, I don't care what they say if y'all need any help feel free to hit me up i'm actually happy to help 
Um, I have, I'm gonna leave my link to my Calendly below. Just, you know, I, I'll do some free consultations for a little bit just to kind of talk about whatever you got going on. If you're struggling somewhere, you want some advice, I like to call myself a professional. I don't need somebody to tell me that. I've been doing this for years. Right, I think I know what the fuck I'm talking about. No, I don't, I'm just playing. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it. I'm gonna leave y'all with that. Um, do better, be better, and let's keep motivating each other, man. Like I said, don't let the economic situation ruin our thoughts, all right? Peace out, guys.